What's up, YouTube? The Dark Below expansion is just a few days away, and Bungie has been making some updates and some adjustments to prepare for this sweet, glorious day. I don't know if it's really that exciting, but to me, it's pretty fucking exciting. I'm stoked. So, let's look at what we can expect on December 9th. It looks like we'll be getting new legendary gear in the vendors with higher defense and attack values. Bungie has added rank commendations, which are a type of currency that you will get when you rank up either your Crucible rank or your Vanguard rank. I recommend trying to get close to leveling up now, so once the Dark Below drops, you can easily and quickly get a few of these commendations with minimal effort. I already talked about the shards in the recent video, so there's since it's already out, I guess there's no real need to discuss them much more. We already know what they are. Now, one of the cooler things is that Xur will offer you the opportunity to upgrade your existing exotics for one shard per item. However, whichever weapons or armor that you decide to upgrade, all the progress on that particular item will be reset. So definitely keep that in mind. Basically, each week, Xur will have different weapons and gear upgrades available. So uh, you'll definitely want to keep checking in on that and seeing what's there and if you know, if it's something that you got and you want to upgrade. We can also look for two new multiplayer playlists, which, you know, obviously include the three new maps, that will rotate each week and contain a mix of 3v3 or 6v6 game modes. The Heroics and Nightfalls will also have a level increase, so you can play all of them, current and expansion, on higher levels, I assume, since it's at 28 now. Um... I'm not sure if it's going to go 30 or to 32 or if it's just going to go from 28 to 32. I, I guess it'd probably just go 28 to 32 would be my assumption, but they might throw a 30 in there too. Uh, I'm not for sure. As far as the raid goes, I assume it unlocks at the reset. I honestly would like to see it open at midnight and get an exemption from the reset since it's released on a Tuesday, but whatever. It looks like you'll need to be level 30 to at least lead your team into the new raid. I honestly, I wouldn't recommend going into the new raid at a level 29. You're probably going to be, it's going to be a sad day for you. But, hey, uh, some people do. But it doesn't say that you can't, but it also doesn't say that you can. It just says that you have to be level 30 to lead your team. So take it for what it is, I guess. Raid loot will now drop at a higher rate. And raid gear will contain more variety and perks, which is kind of nice because I know with uh, the Vault of Glass, you get a lot of the same gear with the same perks. So it's good that they're going to still give you the same gear, but it's going to have different perks. So maybe you'll get one that's geared towards hand cannons, and then you'll get a, that same one that's geared towards auto rifles or something. So you'll still have you know different gear pieces that you'll need, but with different setups or whatever. Radiant materials will now be needed to upgrade your new raid gear so we won't need ascendant materials. And primary weapons will only drop in the hard mode which won't be out until January. So definitely note that. But all in all, Destiny's starting to shape up to be one hell of a game. I think the only thing they're really missing now is private lobbies. Well, when, once they get that going I think it's going to be even better which will be awesome. I'm sure some people aren't going to be as pleased about the primary weapon thing, but I, I honestly, I think it's fair. If you want the best weapons, you really got to earn them. And I think that's one way to prove that, you know, you did the hard raid. You got, you know, you, you got this from it, like something that you can only get from doing that. So that's definitely a plus in, in my opinion. I know I'm excited and I'm sure you guys are too. So let me know what you guys think. And until next time, guys, peace.